everyone, with summer here, I decided it's a great time to sew myself a new summer dress for the beach. And my idea was to make just a plain t-shirt fabric uh, dress with a sheer elastic bodice. Um, sounds easy enough, you've got a square or a rectangle and you do the one end sheer elastic. That was easier said than done and I had no success after watching tons of YouTube videos and putting the elastic in the bobbin, it was a total disaster and I was pulling my hair out. So of course I went to visit the pro and Charlie showed me that it's actually very easy and showed me a technique that is successful and did not add to my grey hairs. And uh, I'm actually so excited about it because now I want to make a nice cotton summer dress for my niece um, using this technique. Uh, you can of course add some straps to the dress or even a strap with a little frill to cover a little bit if that's something that you like. And Charlie's actually got some great ideas at the end of the video of what you can do with this technique other than a dress like this. Like this. If this is not something you would want to make or wear, don't despair. She's got some great ideas of um, the, how to use this technique on other stuff that I'm sure would appeal to you. Um, so I hope this helps you. It helped me tremendously. And uh, enjoy! You're going to mark it an inch um, in between. That is just a guideline so that you can keep your um, shirring elastic straight. So I've drawn that. And that is just a guideline. So I'm going to use my shirring elastic and I'm not going to put it on the bobbin. I'm going to show you today a wonderful technique with your buttonhole foot. Number three C. And the buttonhole foot looks like that. Oops. So no, nothing at the bobbin case. No, we, 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 that's in the old age. We're now in the new, new era. That is your um, everybody should have a, just a normal buttonhole foot as well that are not slided that you um, decide what is your length and shortness because on difficult areas that foot fits better than your original buttonhole to use foot 3c which is a manual buttonhole foot Okay, and I'm going to put it in. Then you're going to use, um, on my machine it's uh, um, stitch 12. So if I ask the gathering, stitching, shirring elastic or cords using foot number 3C for gathering. Flat joints, uh, medium joints and weight, heavy medium weight fabric. So I'm going to show you today how to do that. So with the, you can use the normal 5.5 um, buttonhole foot and I'm using now the 9 mil. So I can actually go and make my stitch width quite wide. But I don't really want to do that. I'm going to do it. I'm going to leave it. You'll see what, what I normally always do a test piece so that I can see what it looks like. I hook it on that toe in front and I've measured sort of and under the foot let me just show you guys you take it you put it over that toe and then at the bottom there's grooves and our idea is we're going to sew in that groove okay so let's start So I take it and I take, I've done like double my length just for in case. So I hook this piece over that, over that, and I go to the back and I hold it. So now I'm going to start sewing. And... See how nasty some. 
guiding this toe right on this edge. So you just guide the elastic at the back. You don't pull or anything. Let the foot pull it forward. So when you get here, lift your foot. And then what I do, I pinch that little piece that I've put over the toe. Grab it and pull your elastic. See, I can pull my elastic. How neat is that for our first sewing? So now I'm going to do the next one. I'm going to do exactly the same. Look it over, put it back to the back. Make sure that it is in the grooves. done quite a wide for our sample you can do it much closer which what I'll do now when we do the next one so just keep your elastic to the back so you guide that and you can actually keep this straight that little elastic there. So the nice idea of that is that if I pull my elastic in it won't go through to the other side. So I'll show you now. So we'll do one row in between. So now we decide we'll use the center that and actually don't cut your elastic too short you're going to waste a little bit but you'll only do this if you do it a hundred times you will know how to measure your elastic so I'm going to use now the center of my uh, inch that I've drawn there so there in the center and I start What I do, I keep this now sort of straight. So I let the elastic free flow. Pinch it off there with your hand and just give it a little bit of a pull so that you can just see it there. Okay. And we're going to do another one on the line. Luckily I've got a knee lift, so it makes the world much easier to sew. And now I'm going to sew. I don't hold my elastic at all. My toe is doing that for me. So now we want to do the sure in bit. So I'll hold that and now you can pull this in. Let, just don't pull the uh, cotton thread. Sorry, this unfortunately do happen a bit. So 
just want the sure inelastic. That one and that one. I'm going to pull that one in. So I normally put a pin there so that I don't pull it through, but I can pull this side as well. That's what I wanted to show you. Just be careful that you don't grab the fabric. You just have to ease it through to the other side. And I normally take both of them and pull it so that now I've got enough here. I can actually do a little knot there so that I don't pull it straight through. And there's this one. See, and you can bring it in very nicely. So this one, if you've got it far apart, you'll get that effect. So now that is entirely up to you how to move it in, spread it out, whatever you would like to do. I do the the shearing elastic like this I would have my basic pattern the size I want in a square and then I'll pin it on that square and I'll uh, rouge it in or take it out to fit exactly my pattern at the back and then I'll just sew it down to anchor all the stitches With this technique, you can do um, a sure in elastic top and with the little straps for your summer vacation. You can also ruche up the top of a sleeve that will look beautiful or you can go on a blouse that are maybe a little bit too bulky and you can sure in elastic it there at the back and have a nice feature in a triangle.